Um, over here, they talk about careers or imperial examinations. Uh, he say that, in summary, arrogance brings fall, pride brings uh, fall. Pride comes before... Come, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pride comes before one falls. I forgot there's a word. Like, when you started to be proud, too proud of yourself, your date of your fallen time will be there. Where you fail is there. Um, so humility will always benefit every time, not without fail. So the, he used the example of his era, which is imperial examination. Every time they went into the exam, he will always look at these uh, scholars, look at their mannerism, behaviors, obviously at the site. So they are behaving naturally. And he himself is also part of the exam, like, uh, person who's going to sit the exam, and he saw his students, uh, classmates. He says someone called Jing Yubing, Mr. Jing, uh, Mr. Ding, sorry, Ding Jing Yubing. Mr. Ding is very young, but he's very, very hum humble, like natural, very humble. Um, he, most Delphan can see this because he himself has been cultivating a lot. So he's, he can see other people when they are really cultivating. And he's talked to other people, say, hey, look at this Mr. Jing, uh, brother, brother Ding. This year, he would definitely get one of the top marks. Back then, top marks means you have your whole family elevated the condition immediately. So how do I, everyone's like, what do you, why do you think that? And say, so look at him, the way he behave himself, carry himself. He's the person who can take in all that fortunes. Um, Guys, what does it mean by taking all that fortunes? Shouldn't everyone want fortunes, right? We all want good fortunes. We all want uh, good work, good job, good career progressions, uh, um, wealth and all that, uh, comfortable life. But why does he say he can take in this fortune? Why, why is it a, a thing? Because even good fortune itself needs someone deserving to have it. There's a saying that if your boat can only take five kilograms of gold and if you put in 10 kilograms, you will sink. Think like, let, let that sink in. If you only have, if you only worth five kilograms of gold and you take 10 kilograms, you will sink. So the work is on building, the, making a boat bigger, not getting more money in. Money, you always come in. The problem is when it comes in, can you take it or it will go out or it will sink you? Or your whole family with you. So, going back to the historical example, so he say among these ten person taking this exam, look at Mr. Ding, Ding Jing Yubing, Mr. Ding. Um, like anyone who is very uh, how to say putting others before themselves, considerate. Is there anyone as considerate as Mr. Ding? Walking, sitting, eating, always after people. Uh, Lao Tzu. Right, Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu. I will talk about. Uh, there, I have three. In Buddhism, we call it. We have triple gem. He also have triple gem. That was pre-Buddhism in China. I have Wu Yu Shan Bao, Yue Jian, Yue Ci, Yue Bu Gan Wei Tian Xia Xian. So I have also triple gem. Remember, guys, that was before Buddhism come to China. Uh, I have number one, um, frugal, being uh, saving, uh, saving, uh, do not spend lavishly. So being frugal. Being compassionate, loving other people, respect other people. And the third one is do not uh, dare to be the first in the world. Do not want to be the first in the world. Always number two, always number two. Uh, letting other people go. So I have this three triple gem that keeps me at the peak of my cultivation. So this is how we do it. And this is how he do it. So is there, is there anyone uh, who are really respectful in their speech, uh, who are uh, fearful in the in the sense of you know they don't they don't be reckless uh, like Mr. Ding, uh, Ding, Mr. Ding. Is there anyone who when humiliated uh, do not rebut quickly or re without rebutting? Is there anyone who could be humiliated without rebutting or be defamed or slandered without trying to uh, clear their name or without trying to debate? As Mr. Ding, that means he can he can hold this, he can hold this pressure without bursting.
he can carry his composure and everything properly. That's that's a deep cultivation there, guys. If everyone can do that, everyone can do that. You know, even the heavens and the ghosts, not just human, heaven and and and, and the heavenly realm people, or spiritual realm people, they will always protect this person. Or how can this person not be for uh not be fortunate? Right? We call fortunate, we call luck, guys. Where did that come from? Suddenly, uh, a random that row of dice. No, guys, no. Cause and effect, guys. Back to cause and effect. Always remember, if you have luck, if you have fortunate, fortunate, um, it's all because first thing is your past, but your present is the most important because present is a fused that leads the past to the present and to the to the whatever the results. Right? You're the water to the seeds. Your your current life is the water to the seeds, the sunlight to the seeds, the air to the seeds. You are giving the condition for it to happen. So, if you want to be luck and fortunate your whole life, um, learn from Mister Ding, right? And to learn from him, first you cannot be angry immediately. I already failed. So, uh, to be able to take in the pressure of being misunderstood, misunderstood without you know because people who immediately rebut, rebut or, or answer some most of the time they are very how to say fuzhao or whatever they, they move very quickly like a little bit of word that does not sound right already can shaken this person can you think of this person able to achieve anything big something big happens like maybe your company is going to going through the profit loss or global financial crisis and if you already like mess, uh, uh, if you're the CEO top of the company, and you run away, run around like the rest of the uh, uh, worker worker did. Oh my God! What should I do? What should I do? How can you hold the ship? Or in the country, if you got um, big problem, uh, say nine one one. I'm sorry, guys. This is very sensitive. And you got immediately jump for revenge and invade a nation that has nothing to do with the terrorists that attacks your nation. Can you see the consequences? Yes, 20 years spending in Afghanistan, drawing out without any result and killing all your uh, fellow countrymen. Why am I bringing this in? Because this is a real example. I don't need to bring some old Ming Dynasty stuff. I bring 21st century stuff, guys. So, so what I'm trying to say is, if you can hold and release at the right time, at, at the appropriate time, that it takes a huge amount of patience. To have a huge amount of patience, you need to have a very deep, stomach to take the in you have to your heart has to be very uh, deep very um what is it tender to chi patient uh in, in buddhism we call it patience uh rendu me the parameter of patience um in china they don't say patience but able to take in uh rule take in um humiliation patience against humiliation because chinese People they are like the face a lot in the historic context, guys. I'm not talking about just now. I'm talking about since the ancient time when the Indian monk comes to China. They look at these Chinese and say, "There's a saying and say, as a government official, you can kill me, right? But you cannot humiliate me. I rather have my head severed than being humiliated." So they were like, "Okay, you like your face so much. You like your mingjie, your." name so much. So this is the point you Chinese people need to cultivate when Buddhism comes in as a new stream. They were like, one of the homework you need to learn is to be patient against humiliation. So this one is big uh, in that terms. So uh, he can take it in and he can be careful he can, because his mind is stable. He can see things clearly.